Maybe you don't have weekend plans yet, but there is a lot happening along coastal Delmarva this weekend, including the 46th annual Nanakoke Indian Pow Wow, which is so cool. And I'm so excited to introduce you to Ferris Stiegel, who is joining us on the Coast Life Couch today. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So you're the assistant chief uh, with the Nanakoke Indian Tribe. And uh, the 46 years of this annual Pow Wow, what can folks uh, rely on and what's new going on this year? So um, the annual powwow is held at Hudson Fields in mm -hmm. Milton. Um, it is uh, Saturday, September 7th and Sunday, September 8th. Nice. So we will have um, two dance performances on um, both days. Um, the only difference on Sunday is at 8.30 a.m. we will have a morning uh, worship service. Nice. Um, we do have some new we have new lead dancers this Fun. year. So it's lead male dancers. So we have Louise Campbell, who is a um, very famous um, dancer within the powwow cir circuit. And we have our very own Michael Harmon, who will be the lead dancer on Sunday. And we also have a new dance style, which is um, Angela Gladu. She is a hip hop hoop dancer, and cool. she's also a jingle um, dancer as well. Incredible. I know all these dances are really amazing to see in person. How would you encourage somebody who's maybe never been a part of the powwow or is kind of outside that culture and circuit to, to come to check it out? It's it's a cultural and educational experience for people of all ages. So from the young ones all the way up to older ages, um, it allows people to um, dive into our culture for the weekend and learn a lot of things about Native Americans that maybe they didn't know before. Sure, sure. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of people that are still kind of under the impression that, you know, there there isn't much of Native American culture, especially in this area, still in existence, but there very much is, and it's very alive and well. And uh, this is a great way to celebrate it. Yes, and we are still here. Um, we also have the Nanako Indian Museum located on Route 24 in Millsboro. Yep. And um, that's a great educational experience as well. Um, we provide tours for um, school children. Um, we also provide tours for um, other um, groups as well within within the community. And we're the only Native American museum in the state of Delaware. That is true, that is true. Uh, so for folks that wanna check out the Pow Wow admission, uh, do they have to pay a ticket price? Can they buy it day of? Can um, they buy online? Actually, um, they are able to go online and um, on Eventbrite mm -hmm. and purchase tickets okay. um, online. Or um, they can pay um, when they, when they get to the site, and it's ten dollars um, admission fee per person, um, and children under a certain age are um, five dollars. Nice, awesome. So a great easy way to uh, check out something new, check out something different, and maybe walk away learning a little something. Uh, I think this is really going to be a, another great event. And uh, is there anything else that you guys are excited for about the, the powwow that you want people to know? Um, I, if they want to check out more information, they can always go to nanakoindians.org. And we have information on there about the powwow and about the um, two special guests that we'll, we will be having this year. Um, and also information about the Nanakoot mu Museum as well. Awesome, perfect. So we'll give you a minute to do that. We're going to take a quick break, but there's more Coast Life headed your way.